Let's discuss the solution of this challenging geometrical problem which says a convex pentagon inscribed within a circle of radius 1 has two perpendicular diagonals. So these are the two perpendicular diagonals which intersect inside the polygon or the pentagon. What is the maximum area of the pentagon? So to start with I have already highlighted the center of the circle to be O and with all the radius uh, are 1. So these distances, the black distances are 1. Now you can see that uh, if we consider this angle to be alpha and uh, this angle to be beta, then we can easily see from the figure that alpha plus beta is equal to pi by 2 because the diagonals are intersecting at an angle 90 degree. So since alpha and beta, alpha plus beta is pi by 2, now according to the circle geometrical property we can claim that this angle is going to be 2 alpha and uh, this angle is going to be 2 beta okay because um, this is the angle beta subtended by this particular segment so at the center it will be double the angle so 2 beta and uh, this segment is subtending an angle alpha on the circumference on at the center it should subtain double angles 2 alpha now 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to pi so these two angles are adding up to pi so we can consider the area of the pentagon to be divided into these five small triangles okay like you can see that uh, for these two triangles the collective angle is 2 beta and for this single triangle the angle is uh, 2 alpha and for the other two triangle, as you know that uh, since 2 alpha plus 2 beta is 180 degree, so these two central angles should add up to 180 degree. So for these two areas of this triangle to be maximized, naturally we should uh, set the angle to be 90 each. So we can consider this to be 90 degree and this to be 90 degree because in that case their area will be maximum. So we have already got the area of these two small triangles which are having, which are subtending an angle 90 degree. Now the other part is uh, the triangle for, uh, subtending an angle 2 alpha and the two triangles subtending collectively an angle 2 beta. Now from symmetry we can say that to maximize the total area of the triangle, uh, we should divide this angle 2 beta equally as beta and beta among the two triangles to maximize the area. So the total area of the pentagon is coming out to be 2 times the area of the triangles which are subtending 90 degree that is uh, like these triangles okay this triangle and this triangle they are subtending an angle 90 degree so their area will become half into product of the adjacent side into sine of the included angle plus area of the triangle subtending an angle 2 alpha so this triangle that is half into 1 into 1 into sine 2 alpha plus 2 times the area of the triangle which are ang subtending an angle beta at the center so 2 times half 1 into 1 into sine beta so the total area of the polygon or the pentagon is coming out to be 1 plus half sine 2 alpha so let us denote the area to be a plus uh, sine beta now we know that beta can be written as uh, let's see 2 alpha plus 2 beta is pi or beta is basically pi by 2 minus alpha so since beta is pi by 2 minus alpha so sine beta can be easily written as uh, sine pi by 2 minus alpha so which is nothing but cos alpha so now we can see that our area is uh, expressed as a function of alpha so now we can maximize this particular area so to maximize this particular area let us use the extrema principle so let us differentiate the area function with respect to alpha so on differentiating the area function with respect to alpha we are getting cos 2 alpha minus sine alpha and that derivative must be equal to 0 for the maximum area case. 
so solving this particular equation we can see that cos 2 alpha is 1 minus 2 sin square alpha minus sin alpha is equal to 0 and this is giving us uh, two factors so that is 1 minus 2 sin alpha into 1 plus sin alpha equal to 0 so we are getting two possible value of sin alpha either sin alpha is half or sin alpha is coming out to be minus one now we can see that sin alpha can never be minus one for this polygon case so we have we are having only one legal solution for sin alpha that is sin alpha equal to half and naturally for this particular legal solution maximum value of area is going to occur so uh, we can calculate now the maximum area of the pentagon to be equal to a max that is equal to let us substitute the value of alpha in the function so one plus half sine two alpha so that is going to be sine two into now what is alpha let's quickly see that uh, our sine alpha equal to half so we can claim that alpha must be equal to 30 degree so the maximum area can be written as a half sine 2 into 30 degree plus cos of 30 degree so our calculation is giving us 1 plus half sine 60 degree that is root 3 by 2 plus cos 30 degree is again root 3 by 2 so the maximum area is coming out to be 1 plus 3 root 3 by 4 square root So this is going to be the answer.